Hi, before this video begins, I'd like to point out that I will be including in the video description timestamp links to all the different parts of the video so you can jump to the whatever section interests you. I highly recommend seeing the section about the build quality because it's the most important thing about these, these headphones, the poor build quality. So check that out at least. And I will also be including more details about my testing methods and any other relevant details that I forgot to include during the review. Okay, thanks. So let's start the unboxing. Hello, and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Monolith M565C headphones by Monoprice, Planet Planar headphones. So these are the size of the box. Drawings of the headphones. On the top of the box, it's a very known script box. Very subtle details. Yes. Inside, we have a carrying case. Let's open that. interior of the case. In this bag you have a one uh, quarter inch or 6.4 uh, millimeter adapter and also the cables which I took out first because I wanted to test how the cables connect and such. So the cables are here. So that's the adapter. The cable has a it's a braided cable and it has a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack angled at 90 degrees which I like very much and it's also a double-ended uh, connection to the headphones I don't know if it's can be seen in the, in the filming but there are small white um, side markers for left and right side Um, let's take the headphones out. These are wooden backed headphones which I like very much. You have a headband which is quite loose and, and floppy. I will talk about this in more detail. It's something that, that I don't like about these phones. I will talk about it later. Let's take the foam out. Um, so you have the, you see how the <laughs> headband can bend very, very, uh, like a lot, can bend a lot. So let's take out the Velcro pads here. Well, they are, they are connected to the phone by Velcro, but they are actually leatherette head um, pads. And this is the uh, planar magnetic driver. Putting it back. Very simple. And now let's connect the cables. So the phone itself, the headphones themselves don't have a side marking. So whichever side you connect, the cable is fine. So I'll make this the left side. It's a nice, satisfying click. And the right side. There you go. Now for my impressions of the build and usability of these headphones. The main thing about this, these um, headphones is that as with other monoprice headphones that I've heard, the headband is very loose. So this creates some issues when you need to switch headphones quickly, for example, switch to another pair of headphones to test, what I have been doing with my Biodynamic DT770 Pro headphones. So I have been switching quickly from these phones to the other ones to test uh, the audio differences. And, but the problem is when I would throw these headphones quickly in my lap, 
or, in, or whatever surface, my bed or something, so I could change them quickly, it would bend in very crazy ways. So, for example, it would go like this, Right? And then I'd have to figure out how to untangle this mess. It's like a puzzle every time. So, okay, so I'm doing this. Oh, now the, the um, drivers here are on the, other, the, are the other way around. So I have to twist them around. Oh, but now it's twisted like this. So I have to try and correct for this. And it's quite awkward. So yeah, now the problem is that these these are inverted, so I have to rotate them. But now the cable is is oh, it's such a mess. It's going the other way, so I have to get the cable around. And now <laughs> the driver is facing the other way, so I have to rotate it. Let's see, like so. And now finally, after like thirty seconds of fiddling, I finally have the the headphones back to, to the correct position. So this would happen several times and I grew tired of it and it's the reason I'm uh, the main reason I'm uh, returning these headphones. So uh, I, because I got them from Amazon and I have a 30 day uh, period where I can just uh, send them back and get the money back. So yeah, that's my main issue. The other issue is that um, these, this is a very minor issue, but these uh, side markings on the phones are hard to read, and there are no side markings anywhere on the phones themselves. So sometimes I would also have take a more time than I should to be able to check which side was correct. So I'd have to to twist to rotate this and look for the hard to read markings of which side it is. So like the usability of these phones are not is not very good, unfortunately. Uh, the headband is bad, uh, and also the braided cable. Whenever it brushes against something, as like against my leg, uh, it uh, creates an audible popping sound, an audio artifact. So I also don't like that, and this doesn't happen with, for example, the plastic cables of my. DT headphones. On the plus side, for usability, it has a 90 degree uh, plug, which is very good. It uh, stops the, the, the plug from bending too much and creating undue stress uh, on you, uh, when you're using it with, uh, say, um, mobile music players like iPods or such. So it's a really good idea. This too bad that the other usability functions don't quite make up for this nice plus that we have here. Okay, uh, the comfort is pretty good. These leatherette pads feel good and uh, they, uh, to my ears at least, they don't pinch on my ears. I can't feel them enclosing on my ears or anything. But it's not as spacious and as comfortable as the DT phones. So again, uh, these feel like they circle my, my ears even more. Even though these have more clamping pressure, they are still more comfortable than these. Um, so, uh, but these is, this has good comfort, it's not an issue, it's just that com comparatively speaking, these are even better. So, yeah, it's a good comfort. And uh, now for the sound comparison. The way I tested the sound of this, these phones is that I uh, quickly switched between this, for these phones, and my Biodynamic DT770 Pro headphones to compare the differences. Uh, I don't believe in, in reviewing sound in isolation. I don't trust people's um, sonic memory, not my own either. So I always think you should compare it to something else to better notice the differences. Now, in the highs and mids, there's not much difference between these phones, but uh, I noticed some quite dramatic tonal differences, like timbre differences between in the percussion and lows between these two phones. So some uh, drums, for example, can sound quite dramatically different between these two. 
none of them is better. Like they're just different. It's like comparing red to orange and saying that one is better than the other. Not really. They're just different. Both are good. They both have great bass. The kind of bass that makes your head rattle a little. You know, the kind of bass that everyone everyone loves. That you can feel it. So I love the bass in both. Um, and no, I'm not a bass head by any means, but I just uh, enjoy some good bass, exciting bass, right? Uh, so, but the, the main thing that this one lacks, that the, the DT has, is the, the sound stage. So the sound stage on these ones is, is very, like, small. Uh, the sounds are cramped. You, there's not much separation between the, the instruments, and this sometimes hides some details in the music. Whereas these phones have very wide sound stage, which is surprising for for closed headphones. They have comparable sound stage to to my HD six hundred and fifty headphones. Uh, which are open headphones, so that's quite admirable that a closed headphone has a nice sound stage as well. So I just think the music can breathe more and, and the details are more easily heard in the, these phones um, than the monoprice phones. And I like having this instruments well separated in general, it makes the music breathe more. So, yeah, I much prefer the sound of the DT solely for the reason that the sound stage is much better. Um, but otherwise, the, the sound is pretty good if you like. And then one man's trash is another's treasure, so my, my feeling that these are, have a cramped sound can be, I don't know, intimate and uh, uh, inviting for, for, some other, so for someone else. So, yeah, um, to my preference, these are not what I would choose to hear, to, to, to listen, uh, to use to listen to music most of the time, but yeah, they have good sound, I would say. One thing I forgot to mention, and I'm not sure if it's because of the sound stage or not, or if it's because there's actually a significant difference in the uh, mids between these phones, but the in some songs, the vocals on the M56C can sound quite um, not muffled more like um, ethereal I would say like they're coming from a distant so more distant than the uh, vocals on the DT so I'm not sure why exactly that happens and it doesn't happen with all songs just a few but it's uh, it's quite noticeable when it does so and I'd also like to Clarify that I'm doing. I was doing the tests, not through my laptop, which has pretty crappy sound output, but from my uh, Theo K1 DAC. So it's a really good DAC, despite its price and size. Uh, and it's yeah. So the sound is pretty much perfect coming from these. In conclusion, I'm going to return these Monoprice headphones. For the reason that their headband is crap, it tangles, gets tangled easily, and I have to solve how to, to untangle these every time it happens. Um, the, the, they are m more expensive than the DTs, these are 160 pounds, right now and these are 100 pounds, uh, and they don't offer anything, any real advantage over the DTs. In fact, their sound is worse because of the lack of sound stage. So the only real advantage I would say are the 90 degree connector, which is nice, but it's not mandatory. Like it's not something that really uh, defines the purchase for me. And also the looks, I think the head cups here look a lot better than the DTs. More, more posh, more uh, elegant, but looks the looks don't make up for the other faults that these headphones have. So yes, yeah, so I will be returning them to Amazon for a refund and keeping my DTs. So that's it. Thank you very much.